A couple of weeks ago, we secretly released a new feature within Buzzsprout called Dynamic Content. So today, we're going to talk about why we created Dynamic Content in the first place and how you can use it to enhance your own podcast episodes. So why do we create Dynamic Content? Well, as you publish more podcast episodes, it becomes more and more difficult to maintain and update older podcast episodes with relevant and timely information. Because in the past, you would have to re-upload an entirely new episode file and swap them out. You'd have to do that for every single episode you wanted to change. Dynamic content fixes that problem because it allows you to upload either a short pre-roll, which would go at the beginning of your podcast episode, or a post-roll, which would go at the end. And we can apply those either to all of your future episodes that you upload to Buzzsprout, or you can also apply them to your entire back catalog. Now, this technology is used by larger podcast companies like NPR and Wondery to dynamically insert targeted ads at podcast listeners. Dynamic content is not dynamic ad insertion. Buzzsprout's dynamic content is different in two pretty important ways. The first way is that Buzzsprout does not track your listeners' activity, which is something that a lot of these other dynamic ad insertion tech companies will do. We're not gonna track your listeners across the internet. That's super creepy and not something that Buzzsprout would ever build. The second big distinction is that dynamic content is available on every single Buzzsprout plan at no additional charge. This kind of feature is typically a big upsell for podcast hosts, but our tech team worked really, really hard to make sure that we can make this feature available to everyone. So big round of applause to our awesome tech team for making that happen and making sure that every single one of you could take advantage of dynamic content, no matter how big your production budget is. So now let's talk about how to use dynamic content, how to actually insert pre-roll and post-roll audio files into your podcast episodes. In order to navigate to the dynamic content section of your Buzzsprout dashboard, you would simply click on the episodes tab and then scroll over until you see dynamic content. From there, you'll see the option to upload either a pre-roll or a post roll, which means that we will either stitch that particular audio file to the front or the back of the main episode file that you uploaded. Once you upload a file, we'll automatically add it to any future episodes that you upload to Buzzsprout. And you can also add your new pre-roll or post roll to your entire back catalog of episodes. And when you want to remove your dynamic content or update it with something new, you can easily make changes without affecting the audio quality of the original podcast episode. So now let's talk about some use cases, how you can actually use dynamic content to enhance your podcast episodes. And the first use case is probably the one that you thought of first, which is sponsorships, that you can now easily add and remove pre-roll and post-roll sponsorships to promote other companies and other brands. And typically when you're negotiating those sponsorships, you would say, hey, for these four episodes, I will record a 30 to 60 second ad promoting your brand, promoting your company. And in exchange, you would give me X amount of dollars. Well, now you can say, I'm gonna upload that pre-roll to all 200 podcast episodes in my entire catalog. And you are now the single sponsor that I have for my show for this entire time period. So that will allow you to command higher prices for the sponsorships that you do give out. The second use case is if you wanna make a timely announcement and you wanna let all of your podcast listeners know about it, even if they're not staying up to date with the podcast, but maybe they're starting at episode one. So let's say that you're going to a conference or you're hosting a virtual event or you want some feedback and some listener questions in order to make a special episode. You can create a pre-roll or a post-roll and apply it to your entire back catalog so that no matter where somebody starts listening, they get the message and they can take action. Another great use of dynamic content is to do podcast swaps with other shows. We recently did a podcasting Q&A episode talking about how to collaborate with other podcasters. And one of the things that we talked about was essentially creating a commercial for your podcast and sending it to another podcast that has a similar audience and being able to cross promote each other. You can easily use dynamic content to insert these podcast promos talking about other shows that you think your listeners would really be uh, excited about checking out and then having them do the same. Really any message that you want to send to your listeners, you can do with dynamic content. And then when it's not relevant anymore, let's say that you at one point are running a promotion for a sponsor or an affiliate program, 
or you're doing a live workshop coming up and you want people to register, once that time has passed, you can remove that content and then upload something new, something that would be timely for when somebody is listening to it. Dynamic content really is a game changer for independent podcasters that want more control over how listeners engage with their podcast. And we have some exciting features coming out in the future to make it even better. But we would love to hear how you plan on using dynamic content for your podcast. So go over to the Buzzsprout Facebook group and leave a comment below the post that we've pinned to the top of the group. We would love to hear how you plan on using dynamic content, the things you love about it, the things that you wish that were there that weren't to really help us make it the best possible feature for you guys to help you in your podcast. Well, that wraps up today's episode. If you have a question you would like us to answer in a future episode of the show, just go to speakpipe.com slash buzzsprout or click on the link in the show notes and leave us a brief audio message. Podcasting Q&A is available both as a video and a podcast. So if you like watching videos, make sure you subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. If you prefer audio, you can find podcasting Q&A in your favorite podcast listening app. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And as always, keep podcasting.